Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails. And we are here with Aberrant News in a bit of a spot. He managed to get himself stuck in the river and almost died, but escaped. And is too proud to admit it to his colony. He's hanging out with Mountain Colony right now trying to get them to help him. Hi, can I help you? I'm not supposed to give treatment to cats that aren't trusted by our colony, so she's still refusing to help him. I feel like he would probably, uh, he might even give her some catnip and try and maybe bribe her a little bit. That's actually really cool of you. <laughs> I think he, he's almost trying to bribe her a little bit into helping, but it's still... Jag let you in? That's surprising. Uh, she's still not quite convinced. Uh, is Luna at all in- or Delta, I mean, uh, at all interested? You're from a different colony. What are you doing here? Uh, it seems everyone has noticed that he's lingering around, and, uh, I almost feel like he would start trying to give them anything he has, uh, to kind of be like, no, I belong here, I promise. <laughs> Let's see, we'll give her some golden seals since she seemed to like it last time. That's very kind of you. He actually- he has a lot, so I feel like he might kind of just pawn some of it off when he knows somebody likes something. I, I feel like he would probably kind of just resort to pawning it off on them and trying to trying to maybe um to get rid of it. He's kind of he's very much a solitary cat. Pebble, do you like anything we have? Do you like mice? He's not gonna give up that uh, that dragonfly. Oh, Pebble did like it. He's not going to give it the dragonfly. He at least understands that's something he should keep. Um, and Arthur... Did we determine Arthur... I don't think we have anything Arthur likes. Um, I feel like what he would probably give some of these to... Oh no, he <laughs> Jag won't let him give anything more today. So I don't think... I don't know... He might just have to, to give up his pride and go limping back home and admit what he did. And, uh, I think he may do that. He he's, doesn't have much choice. They really haven't left him with a lot of choice. He's not getting any healing and he needs to, he needs to. He's still really hurt and fairly afraid of the water now, I, I think it's safe to say. He's gonna slink his way back down this way, probably avoid... Uh, this guy, I, he, I feel like that was kind of a, um, he, he kind of, he, because he just snagged some of this lavender right out from underneath him. I, I, I feel like that was kind of just a, yeah, no, I, I'm taking this and leaving by <laughs> sort of a moment. He, he's kind of a, not a very considerate cat. Um, but I want, I, it, it'll be interesting. What would it take for him to learn that? Uh, I, he has quite a bit to learn, and he's still quite uncomfortable, especially around his own colony, it seems. I wonder if he ever will learn, or what might teach him to uh, to perhaps consider others. He has seemed to have a bit of a friendship starting up with Savannah, uh, and that has been a good thing, perhaps. But uh, he has also been avoiding home for a while, so I wonder what she would have to say about that. Um, oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Let's come over here. I think he might poke around in the swamps just a little and see if he could find any more of that snake lily because he has wanted to keep that on hand in case he gets himself in a jam and needs a little extra help getting out. Um, he likes to be self-sufficient. I think he would continue to upgrade his fighting. Uh, let's see. Is there any more snake lily around here? That's where it grows, this place. But there doesn't seem to be any there. Is there any more around? It's a lot easier having more. Oh, here is Savannah. Oh no, she caught him sneaking in. Um, it's a lot easier to find when you have higher herb lore skills. I think... He might- he'll maybe try and bring her some of this golden seal that he doesn't see much use for. Uh, she, I think he gave that her. I seriously love this. You're the best, Oberon. She seems to be the main cat who has really been friendly who, and who he's really been able to bring himself to be friendly with. So they definitely have a bit of a friendship starting up. But I think he would go slinking off to where is our healer? I don't even know where our healer is. It's crampy. Oh no. Um, greetings, young kitten. Do you mind if I put leeches on your tail? It's for science, and I think it would be funny. 
or I could do it to myself, but then what will I do tomorrow? Maybe I should scare kittens by jumping out of bushes again. Yes, that sounds good. Oh, you're still here. What do you require? I need healing. Hold still while I diagnose you. I can treat you fully for 18 mews if you'd like, or I can just give you a small dose for 8 mews. I think he would accept the full treatment and uh, let uh, let him heal, let Krampy heal him. Haha, -ha, you are fixed. Stay clear of the foul miasmas from now on. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't- I think Oberon would be a little bit- Whoa! A little bit, uh, weirded out by that and would kind of just slink away and then immediately get into a fight, of course. That's- that's honestly just what he does. He, he's just been healed and he's already off, uh, going- getting himself in fights and getting hurt again. <laughs> um, he- he's kind of a- he's kind of a bit of a- a cranky one, it seems. There's a fish, but I don't think if it ventures out that far, he's gonna go after it. Let's see. Oh, there's more snake lily. I think he would grab that. Well, he has the chance. And then I think he would probably come creeping home and uh, try and settle in and just rest because uh, he's been out for a long time and he he's really a... Uh, He's tired. He wants to rest. He didn't get to sleep last night, and he's still kind of uh, sheepish about the whole incident. So I think he would settle down and, uh, and sleep pretty quickly here. So let's see. All right. We'll go ahead. We'll have we'll let him eat as well, I think. Or let's let Day come back first. And then we gotta eat. And then I think he would probably... He still wants to make his way up there. And uh, try to get access to the shop, so I think he would continue to do that. I think he'd chat with Savannah. We determined she likes golden seal, so I think he would bring her some. I seriously love this. You're the best, Oberon, and they actually increased their reputation, which is pretty good. Um, hey there, how are things going? Uh, let's talk. Glad to see you again. So, uh, I think she's been a little more accepting of him being the, the cranky, cranky cat that he is sometimes. I think he would sell off well, because she's also been the one he's had to deal with. Um, he, I think he would sell off the catnip. He, um, she's been the one he's he's had to deal with here. And uh, so he's kind of been forced into interacting. He's really a very solitary cat deep down. I think he would keep this dragonfly someplace special, though. And, of course, he has the forbidden fireflies that he uh, probably shouldn't be a... <laughs> keeping, but still is, because he's kind of like that. <laughs> so I think he would head back up immediately, and that's a behinded darter. I think he would start heading back up and uh, seeing if he can manage to raise his reputation with the mountain domain anymore, so that he can have access to their shop and possibly to their healer, because I almost feel like, well, that and Crampy is quite an interesting character. I feel like Oberon may be a bit suspicious of him. Uh, as of yet. Not like that's unusual. Oberon's suspicious of pretty much everyone. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I think Oberon is maybe a little bit... I don't know. Crampy has tried to put leeches on him a couple of times. <laughs> and I don't think he quite appreciates that. So let's come up here. And we'll see... Is there... Oh, we can grab this golden seal. There's lots of golden seal everywhere. Um, but let's look up here and find out if there's a rabbit. I think he would stalk it. And see if he can catch it. Did we get it? We got it. Good. And there's berries. Berries are good. Berries are good to eat. So that's always something that's nice. And the highland corner... Uh, we can't carry anything more. Let's eat a berry and then grab a berry. Let's see. Uh, this is up. Oh no, we've got a ways to go yet, huh? Let's try and expedite if we can. Through the Lone Sentinel area. And do we still have a stash of things or do we end up using up our stash of things? I can't remember now. Um, the river loop is here. And up here, at one point we'd stuck a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff in the corner up here, but I don't think we still have it. Nope, it's uh, gone. We've used it all up, it seems. I think he would uh, come down here and try 
and uh, bring some more let's let's give some golden seal perhaps because that seems to help I think and they are grateful for it so now we're up to 44 I wonder if it's 45 that he has to be up to and uh, yes okay there we are it might be 52 so I think he would give that to them okay we're now up to 48 and I think he would still go see if any of the cats are now accepting of him uh, there hi can I help you she just kind of was quiet. I don't think she's going to yet. I don't think he needs healing anyway, though, so that's all right. And then here's Delta. Hello there. Anything I can do for you today? If you're polite around here, folks will be polite back to you. Oh, I feel like that was a little bit of a pointed remark uh, because Auburn is not known for being polite. And I don't think... Yeah, she's not going to give him access to the shop. I think he would still probably try and give a few gifts... Uh, and try and uh, maybe kind of convince them. I think he'd give her blackberries too. Oh, she really likes blackberries. Um, I think he would still be kind of trying to coerce his way around, bringing gifts to those that he knows what they like. <laughs> um, I feel like he'd kind of be perhaps a little bit trying to almost bribe them. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we know what Arthur likes? I don't think we have anything that we know Arthur likes. Well, we have the rabbit we know from Larkin's story. Um, but I don't think... I think he prefers to keep food on him. And we don't really know what Jag likes. I mean, we know he likes crows from Larkin's story. Does Luna like blackberries? Um, no, she doesn't. Does she like marigold? Uh, she says she could use it. Does she like Golden Seal at all? Um, he probably shouldn't be walking into camp with Snake Lily on him either. That's probably not a very wise decision. Um, uh, after all, that could get him in some trouble if he looked like he was trying to, trying to pull anything with that. Because that could be pretty dangerous stuff, it seems. What was that floaty thing? I think it was just a leaf. Um... It almost looked like there was something glowing, but I don't think it really was. Let's see, we managed to catch that mouse, and then he- oh, nope. So I think he would come home knowing there's not much more he can do at this point up here. Probably eat some along the way. I think he'd eat the dove. And we have 205 Mews, so hopefully that would be enough to unlock um, another coat color at some point. Although, perhaps we'd want to uh, unlock the inventory expansion as well, since he does seem to be maxing out his inventory quite frequently. Um, he might have to go talk to Savannah about that and see what she has to say. So, let's come down here. Oh, there is a rabbit that just ran off. We might try and catch this mouse, though. There we go. And let's see down here. Here's Lavender. I feel like he kind of just gathers anything he thinks he might be able to sell off and uh, or or use or anything like that. He kind of just grabs miscellaneous items <laughs> as he goes, um, and isn't necessarily the most. Uh, he kind he kind of just grabs things even if he has no idea what he's gonna do with them. If he thinks he might, uh, they might come in handy at some point. Oh, there is more snake lily. I think he would definitely grab that. And. Um, is there any more growing down here? Oh, what is this, though? This totem is active. A great treasure I carry. Are you worthy of it? Uh, I think he would be very confident about that. I shall judge that for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly, and I may bestow my treasure upon you. Which of the following shells can you not find on the beach? We found conches, we found scallops, but there's no oysters. That is correct. During which of the following seasons do blueberries grow? That would be winter. That is correct. And which can you purchase a glow potion? That would be autumn. I believe that'd be autumn, right? Yes. That is correct. You answer wisely and justly. My treasure belongs to you now. So we got a power paw! Yay! We are filled with vigor and our maximum health has increased. And the totem has gone inactive again. I feel like he would stalk this frog and see if he can leap on it and get it and then go snag this uh, snake lily here. Are we able to upgrade anything yet? Oh no, he's in the water. Okay, we got him out though. We are able to upgrade fighting again and I think he would do that because he is a very, uh, very warlike cat in many ways. 
Uh, he, he's quite a, a grouchy fighter in, in a lot of uh, respects. And he wants to improve his ability. Oh, and here is the perfect chance to test out his new ability. I feel like he does, uh-oh, in many ways just kind of a lunge in and he, honestly, I feel like he would both want to test his skills but possibly be a little afraid as well. This might be the time when he would consider using some Snake Lily to give himself an edge and, um, and see if that would help him because he is taking some damage here, definitely. We'll see how well he's able to handle it. Uh, I kind of am curious just from the game perspective too to see what the, um, the Snake Lily does exactly and if it helps. Or, like, how, how exactly does it work? Okay, he's got most of them down. Alright, I don't think he's gonna use it this time, though. Because I don't think he's in quite enough trouble. Oh, maybe he would be, though. I don't know, you guys. I think he actually might, just for this last bit here. I think he would use it. Claws poison for ten seconds. Oh my gosh. And, oh my goodness. So, he's now taken quite a bit of damage. He took, he took poison. This guy seems to take poison damage. Whoa. And the claw scratch is green when it's poisonous. I don't think he would tell anyone what happened here and would just quietly come home and uh, would see because he kind of did panic there. That is pretty powerful stuff, it seems. Um, it doesn't last very long, but it's powerful. Okay, we gotta go over and then down to get to the colony or down and then over, either way works. I, I feel like he would kind of come creeping back and not really mention it to anyone. Not really want to get pegged as a dishonorable for that. And kind of want to keep to his, himself about it. And I think, you know what? We don't have a lot of time left, so I think we're going to just go ahead and wrap up here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.